Yeah. How many kids do you have? I had two. One passed away. Mm -hmm. My son, but my daughter's 15. Right. And, and um, the one that passed away would be? He was, he was three and a half when he passed away. Right. I remember yeah. hearing, hearing that. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sorry to... Uh, how are you doing with that? Um, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's been seven plus years now, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. Um, how, how does one cope with... Uh, uh, you know, did you turn to a coach? Uh, no, no. Mm -hmm. um, I guess what I did is I went in inwards. Right. So I took myself out of all the different platforms I was on, you know, like the young entrepreneurs. That's when I stepped down as president. Right. Uh, uh, when, when he was born, because he was born special needs. So while he was alive was also a different kind of challenge. Mm -hmm. um, and then when he passed away was another challenge. Um, yeah, and I just, I went down to the basics, which was just eat, sleep, you know, um, spend time with family, and that was all I could manage. And I guess just being okay with that, that, you know, not expecting to get over it just like that, or move on, but just actually just being, you know, being there, and then... I guess naturally you get to the stage where you think, okay, you know what, it's time to move on, I think. You know, I have to live my life and my daughter needs me to be there more than I am now. Yeah. Wow. Um, where do we go from here? No, I, I wanted to share with you on, um, you know, I've got two occasions in which I help send off um, little kids. Mm. Uh, one was three, six months old. One was um, about the same age, three and a half. Mm. Um, the three and a half one was when, uh, about two weeks after my house was burned down, mm. uh, a friend's, you know, daughter just have some, some brain, whatever it may be, and suddenly just died. So there was no preparation whatsoever. So I was in the midst of grieving for all my material losses. Mm. Uh, and then I turned to him and go, you know, I'll give, he would give anything to be in my situation. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And we spent time together for a few months, you know, yeah. going jogging in the morning, um, hiking and all that. Mm. He helped me heal. Yeah. Did I thought you help I was, him heal? I thought I was helping him. Mm. Mm -hmm. But um, sometimes, uh, and, and uh, when, when I talk to my friend today, he says he's still recovering after mm. years, you know, five years, I think. It never goes it's, away. Yeah. Mm. yeah. It's not something that will ever go away. I guess it's just that you learn to live with it. And manage. To, with the grief, yeah. Um, yeah, and, and like learn to live again mm -hmm. kind of thing. Which makes you, uh, you know, so, le so legitimate as a coach because... You, you can empathize with people mm. that, um, you know, in, in certain situations that no one can. Yeah, 